Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Velocity 2014 in Santa Clara. I'm here with Cheryl Ainoa. Cheryl, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, so you're the Chief Product Development or and Operations. Um, it's a mouthful, can you explain what you do? Yeah, actually, um, it's changed a little. It's actually the Senior Vice President of Strategic Platform Development. Okay. Um, and my job is really to um, maximize the capabilities and velocity of uh, pace at which our product development teams can move. Okay, so is your product? Are your product development teams moving faster nowadays than ever? Like everyone else is? Oh yeah, I mean you have to, or you wouldn't be around, right? Um, you know, it's interesting because uh, Intuit has been moving really aggressive towards online and mobile way back since 2008. So a lot of the things that are common today, uh, you know, you hear cloud, agile, web services. Those are pretty core to what we do. Um, the thing I'm really excited about that we're really, I think, pushing the edge on is um, something called internal open source. And so we've really taken a lot of the learnings from the open source community. And as a company, we've got a very diverse organization, geographically diverse. We're, we have uh, employees all over the world and developers all over the world. And the question is, how do you enable them to collaborate that effectively so that any engineer can stand on the shoulders of the thousands of other engineers around the world? And I think the open source community has done an amazingly brilliant job of that. And we've really taken a lot of that and started to leverage that internal so that we have internal open source so you can wrap up, any engineer can create a mashup in minutes, leveraging the technology that others around the world have, have built. Is that how you guys are transforming and building apps quicker? Is that a key part of it? That's a large part of it. Um, you know, we have great services that are market leading in the tax space that might be interesting to um, a new kind of solution that we're providing for small business owners. I want to know how different decisions I might make in any given day might affect my taxes at the end of the day. Well, we've got a team who builds the world's best tax software in San Diego, and our team in Waltham or in India uh, building business solutions can leverage that technology to create that capability for the small business customer. So you guys have been around Probably 30 plus as, as years. long as me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so, uh, what is what do you see as the biggest change that you guys have gone through or transformation? And 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 where do you see that transformation going in the near future? Ah, oh, that's interesting. Um, you know, what I think is interesting, almost even more so, is what stayed the same. If you look back to the very beginning of the company, it's always been around how do we really understand the customer need? And it's our mission hasn't changed. It's how do we change people's financial lives so profoundly they can't imagine going back any other way. And if you think about that, how we change their financial lives changes every four, eight, 10 years because technology is changing. And so our, you know, our, our charter and our mission is really to constantly be looking at how do we better solve problems in ways that couldn't be solved before to make our customers' lives so much better. So how do you guys then encourage and cultivate innovation inside your company to continue what you've been doing for all these years? Because it seems yeah. like if you've done it, you've been there, mm -hmm. it's stable, you've got it. Yeah. How do you keep innovating on top of that? Well, you know, it's a really important point, and it's one of the reasons I came to Intuit was I was so fascinated. There's so few companies that have successfully dis, um, survived and thrived across disruption over 10 years, let alone 30. And I really wanted to understand what is it they do? You know, what is that secret sauce? And the focus that the founder, Scott Cook, put on from day one has always been, innovation is one of our core values. Every, every employee, not just the engineers, not just the, the marketing people get, unstructured time. And it's really to look at um, what are new emergent things and imagine how they might change our customers' lives and change the solutions that we might be able to provide for our customers. So today, I, I could walk over into one of our buildings today and find people doing some prototyping with Google Glass, with connected cars, with wearables, and all of these are in service to imagining how our customers' lives might be different four or five years from now and therefore, what solutions can we and do we need to provide that actually uh, keep pace with the difference in their lives? So, a difference in their lives and, and change. One of the things you talked about and mentioned in your talk today was 
women in technology. Yeah. That's important to O'Reilly. It's important to everyone. Yes. It's very important to the yes. industry. What are you guys doing to help that move along? Ah, yes, and it's a personal passion of mine, as I'm sure you know. Um, so, you know, as an industry, I, there have been so many studies done that show that the most innovative teams and the most successful teams over time are those that are diverse teams. It's, it's just a known. Um, as an industry, we've got a real challenge. We know there are not enough computer scientists and computer engineers in the, the colleges today to feed our need. And one of the biggest things that's actually driving that is that the number of women are actually decreasing. In the last decade, there's um, we, we dropped by almost 50% the number of women, not only the number of in women, but science. the percent of women that are in computer science. So wow. a decade ago, about 24% of all CS majors were women. Now it's about 12 or 13. So it's going the wrong direction. So you know that's why you hear a lot about everybody in the industry focused on that. Intuit's really focused from two perspectives. One is we've got to get more interest and um, passion from uh, uh, women and girls early in. And so we've got to fill the funnel with the CS degrees. Um, and we're doing a lot of things there. I'm really excited. We are actually hosting uh, one of the Girl Who Code boot camps, one of the eight that are being done in the Bay Area right now. And this is really targeted at high school girls, uh, rising juniors and seniors, and getting them in for seven weeks through a boot camp where they actually learn about how to create mobile apps and computer science as a career. And they go to field trips and they learn all sorts of great things and get really passionate about the products. And when you look at the numbers, it's amazing. Uh, they showed the numbers from the last two years when they've done it. It's something on the order, 85% to 90% of the girls who've gone through one of these programs ended up majoring in computer Your science, science, which is, when you think about the normal rate is 13%, that's huge. So we're very excited to be part of that. We're also um, participating by sponsoring scholarships in, uh, for a, a, a program called Hackbright, which is really focused on women returning to the workforce and okay. how do we yep. get them to brush up on their skills or to learn the skills. Um, so we've had a couple sponsorship uh, uh, scholarships that we've sponsored, um, and we're up uh, participating in the recruiting fairs, and it's some amazing talent. So it's really an exciting pipeline for us. Um, but you also have to look at how do we attract and retain and promote the women that we have. And uh, so we've been really taking a multiple multi-prong approach to that. One is we started with Grace Hopper, which is a great yeah, yeah. Um, annual conference focused yeah. on women in computing. It's also where a lot of the college students come, and so it's a great pool to attract um, new college grads that are female talent. And we've been doing that for a couple years. What we've also recognized is it's a great opportunity to uh, acknowledge and provide connections for our women in technology across the company. So. For example, last year we had about 20 of us at Grace Hopper and we had two people who spoke. This year we've got about 150 women going wow. and we've got 13 people speaking. So, from into it. From into it. Wow. So it's really amazing the passion and the interest and what I'm really excited about that is, I mentioned earlier, we're very geographically dispersed. We have a lot of employees all over. So a lot of times we don't have the opportunity to connect with other women oh. in technology across into it. And this is a really great opportunity to do so. The 20 of us that went last year, I think that was one of the things that we found most valuable, other than the great talent we were seeing, was actually the connections we made across the company that we wouldn't have had the opportunity to do otherwise. And so we're really excited to take that to another level this year. Another thing that we've launched is um, Circles. Uh, and so this is um, a great, it's, it came out of some of the Lean In stuff. And we just piloted Circles um, about a couple months ago, and it's a great way to get connections again with other women in the company in technology, um, just to connect and share, and uh, you know, have connections with others like you that you wouldn't necessarily have. And so um, that, with Girl Geek Dinner and all the other things, um, we feel like is a really rich set of things that make Intuit just an amazing place to be for women technologists. Well, I hope we can change the landscape by doing things like this. This is great. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you, Cheryl, for Thank your time. You. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye.